Lord, I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it?
is evil. For the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaking. 40 verse 46. And why ye call me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say. I will call the Lord saying you love the Lord, but yet you ain't keeping his commandments, black man. You're a liar, the chief man, ain't you, ain't you man? You need to examine yourself, man. Let me get on Judas 5 and 20. All through life, man, we've been taught to go against, this most, go against the most high in his law, statutes, and commandments. And this is the very thing that destroyed his people, man. And every nation, man, we just we destroy it because we don't, never, never want to keep the law of the Lord. Every captivity we've seen is because of our disobedience. You need to come into his truth, man, and come out of her like the Lord said. Stop being a destroyed people and stop doing what the Lord said a fool would do. God said a fool hate knowledge, man. Don't be that fool, man. Wake up to the truth and love the Lord, man. Love is chastising. Don't go, don't go back and hate the truth, man, because you keep trying to bring you out of the hell you in. Got that? I said Judah, 5 and 20. All through the scriptures, the Most High's ordering us to keep His law, statutes, and commandments. Yeah. All through the commandments, man, the Most High is teaching us love. His commandments is love for every black Hispanic and Native Indian. Don't despise the love of the Lord. He's teaching you through the scriptures to obey Him and keep your bodies clean, man. He don't want you to destroy yourself with the white man's drugs. He don't want you to follow these other nations and serve their gods. The Bible is correction for every black Hispanic and Native Indian, man. So we need to understand when we hear the word of the Lord, don't go against that. Because you ain't you ain't, you ain't beefing against us. You beefing against the most high himself. And when the punishments come, you, you, you have no reason to ask yourself, why me? And don't cry on the Lord because the Lord say he don't hear sin his prayers. Judah chapter 5 verse 20. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people. This is what Christianity do, man. This is why they made a religion. Because God never gave the black Hispanic and Native Indians anything but the law, statutes, and commandments, man. He never gave you a religion. He never told you to go serve him on a Sunday. So I'm saying everything the white man showed us, man, it was lies to destroy us. Right. Read it again. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people. This is what the other nations know, man. Go ahead. If they sin against their God. If they what? If they sin against their God. They smoke weed. If they sin against their God. They smoke cigarettes. If they sin against their God. Right. All these sins that we fell in love with, man, the nations know if they make us do these things, we destroy it as a people. Go ahead. Let us consider them. Let us consider this. Shall be their ruin. Their what? Let us consider this will be their ruin. The jail cell. This shall be their ruin. Get an upper house. This shall be their ruin. Right. This is what we're going through, man. We got to understand the truth and let it set us free. Stop being in denial that you are God's chosen people and you are under God's law. This is why we're doing so bad in the world destroy, man. Because we don't want to have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. The church is not the place you go to on Sunday that your slave master gave you, man. You are the church of Israel. You must know the truth so it'll set you free from slavery, man. Slavery of your mind. Slavery of being on drugs. Slavery of wanting to kill your brothers, man. Read. And let us go up, and we shall overcome them. Verse 21. But if there be, and there be no iniquity in their nation, if there be no sin, the word iniquity means sin. They say, if there be no iniquity in that nation, go ahead. Let my Lord now pass by. Leave, leave, leave these brothers alone, man. They know our, our God will fight for us. Right. Know what I mean? So this is why they teach you every day to be a homosexual. This is why they teach our sisters to abort their kids by the millions. This is why they flood our hoods with drugs, guns. This is why they... All of a sudden now, when I said the same thing, that they be locking you up for thousand years for marijuana. They want to they destroy our people, man, and keep them high as zombies so they won't never hear the truth of God. 
and put so many lies in the world hoping that when you hear the truth, you will ignore it. You won't know the truth. They are the author of confusion, man. Go ahead. Let's their Lord defend them. What? Let's their Lord defend them. So when we keep the commandments, man, the most I say, I'll be an adversary to your adversaries. You're reading the white man on top right now because we don't want to come into the law, start law, statute of the commandments and keep them, man. Right. We don't want to come back to the truth and realize how we have to serve our God and not to serve any other God. Not, not to follow these nations in their ways, man. We got to understand our mistakes. Go ahead. In their God be fulfilled and we become a reproach. A what? A reproach before all the world. They're saying they know. The minute we keep these laws, that's the commandments law, for the Lord, they're done. This is why they're promoting every sin under the sun. Right. We have media, man. Right. This is why they're flooding the drug, they're dangling the drugs, man. They know how to keep us down. They know they want Samuel, Samuel Jackson, brothers, Jango at the first time. Jango brothers in the fall against the Lord. Right. They want, they want the truth to stay hidden. Right. They want you to stay hidden from knowing who you are. They don't want you to understand that all you have to do to get the keys to the kingdom is keep his law, statutes, and commandments, man. Right. Right. And it ain't grievous, man. I mean, it ain't hard. It ain't a hard thing to do. But we, we love oppression, man. We love our, our master, man. We love our, our slave master. We don't want to come back to the truth. Right. We want to talk against the word of God. We need to get into the UPK. Every brother need to grab a flyer and come in here and be anointed with oil, just like that young man just did, man. Just like the brother before, before him did. Get raised up in this truth. Get up your loins, man. Come back to the Lord. And, and understand that the last statute of commandments is the key to our ruling this nation again, man. Go ahead. and his love, man. His love is for you, black, Hispanic, and Native Indians. His chosen people, man. With that, we the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge coming out of One West, 125th Street, home in New York, under command of General Yohanna. Here to give every black, Hispanic, and Native Indian the truth of this Bible and show them how to come out of oppression and out of the hell that we've been put in for our disobedience. Shalom, Israel. in the book. 